All right, you guys, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. And in today's video, I have a lovely modern house design that I wanted to show you guys based off of this reference photo that I'll put up right now. And I saw this, of course, like always on Instagram and I absolutely adored it. So I was like, let's try to make it in Minecraft. So lo and behold, I have made it in, oh boy, I forgot I don't have my uh, texture pack on. Acacia is what I used, in case you cannot tell as well as gray and light gray concrete. But gosh, I mean, it's not bad. It definitely stands out in certain ways, but it's not great. So let's put that back on. Oh, so much better. Oh, thank God for texture packs, honestly. Thank God for them. And I forgot to mention, I have a new lovely kimono type thing, whatever you want to call it, for fall. It's got all these dark colors on it, which I kind of wanted, you know, Halloween fall stuff like that. Additionally, if you hear background noise, like always, I apologize. It's my AC. It's hot. And if you do enjoy my tutorials, please leave a like, comment, and sub if you're new, because I'd love to hit a thousand subscribers eventually. Until then, let's get on with this tutorial. Now, for starters, before I get into building it, I just want to let you know the full size of this build, if you include this driveway here, not these three blocks for like a pathway, but including that corner right there where the driveway starts, all the way to the back corner here where I have this back porch and is exactly 35 by 23. So if you want to include all this extra detailing that I did around here, it's going to be this big, 23 by 35. For the actual house, I don't know, I didn't count it, but I just wanted to let you know the actual size. Now to get started with this, I want to get lined up properly. Now to get started, we're using gray concrete here in this corner. Then you want to take this block over 11, 11 blocks, and you want to go back 12, including this one. Remove any trees in your way, obviously. Then go over 18, including this one, and then bring it down 18 this way, including, of course, the corner. Bring it around like a so. This is exactly what seven blocks, and then down, including this one, one, two, three, four, five, six until you have this lovely little L shape. And that's pretty much the entirety of this build, it's just this L shape. Now this front corner here, you wanna bring it up by two blocks until you have it like a so. And then you're gonna bring two blocks down this entire long length as well. Then on this side that we started on, you wanna bring it up to three blocks tall. On this back wall, also go up to three blocks tall until you have something that looks like this. Now I didn't put in the back deck, but I'll go ahead and build it now just so you see it. We're gonna go over seven blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and on the eighth one, we're gonna do our porch. It comes up by four blocks, and they're two blocks tall, and it's gonna go all the way over until we hit the corner, like a so. So this is gonna be four blocks on the sides, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11 on this longer side. And then you should have a general shape that looks like this. Now for this front wall, we're gonna go ahead and put in a window. It has, the window is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks wide. And there's two blocks on the sides of it that are gonna go up another five blocks tall. So it's gonna be a seven by five window. So let's bring these up to five blocks taller than they were until we have it like this. Now in the reference photo, the glass that I was in the window unfortunately had like, I shouldn't say unfortunately, but it had like these black bars surrounding it framing the window, so it looked like there were sections of glass. Now in Minecraft, there's no easy way to do that, so instead I went ahead and I played around with using two different shades of glass panes because the different colors, when they meet, actually provide a line as you can tell, it has this little line here. So in a way, it's creating that detail that you see in the photo, but it's just two different colors of glass. Now for this wall right here, we're gonna bring it out three blocks here. These ones here are gonna stay at two blocks tall, but these three blocks are gonna go up five blocks as well. So it'll match the height of these, oh, these blocks here until you have a shape like that. 
so we're gonna push the door frame back by one so it's gonna be on this pillar here and it's also gonna be starting on the fourth block up so that's one two three and on top of the fourth block is where the door is gonna start that's a three wide door frame so we'll put these three in just as a placeholder and everything else through here is gonna be half a slab down to give it kind of a deck feeling. If I could place blocks right, it'd be great. Until we have a look like this. Now for the door first, the door is pretty large. We're gonna go ahead and have it open this way with glass only, it's not even a real door. If you wanna put in a real door, totally fine. I just figured I wanted to keep it looking modern, so I didn't. So for the door, I did the same thing using two different colored glass panes. We're gonna go up by three and put a black glass pane over two and bring it down so it's like that. Then you're gonna bring this glass pane forward, just the top and the bottom, and put a chain in the middle to make it look like the actual door is opening. Then for the sides, we're gonna go ahead and put light glass, light gray I should say, like a so, and light gray on top. And then finally in this corner actually, put another black pane right there. Now for the next portion of this wall, we're gonna have we're gonna put spruce here, three planks over, and it's gonna go up six blocks. So three, four, five, and six, which matches up directly with the top of the door until you have a look like this. Now remember, that was made with acacia and this is spruce because I wanted to show you guys two different colors. Now to do the stairway here, we're gonna have one stone block here and then stone blocks lining the wall until you have this one gap here. And on top of this, I did the iron bars, even though there's really, I wish we had like a, what's it called? Um, there's a thing, wrought iron bars or fences, that'd be really cool looking and make this a lot better looking. Now for the rest of the iron bars, we're gonna go down one block from this corner and then down one block again, but come out twice. Same thing here, down one block, then down another and out twice. The slabs that we're gonna have to actually walk on, we're gonna fill up this corner with to match it at level with this little deck. Then we're gonna go ahead and just follow it down in a slow little slope, and a half slab slope, I should say, until, oh, we get something like this. Actually, I think I had some parts not fully filled. Then the iron bars themselves, I brought it out by one so that they did connect like a so, and like a so, until you have something like that. And then from there, I did do like in-ground little stones to make it look like it's like a pathway that they built into the grass, but that's really up to you. And of course, as you can see with this one, it ends up connecting over to the driveway here. And then for the actual design that I did for the garden and stuff, I used rooted dirt as well as coarse dirt. And I just filled in this area here, this three by 11, right? One, 11, yeah, so three by 11 section here. And then I also did a little section here, which is a three by four area. Then for these little gaps here, I did fill it in with some stone so that you don't see underneath the deck. And then you have your little front area like this. Now sweeping around to the side here, we're gonna bring this spruce out again, three blocks on this side and three blocks on this side. When you look at it, technically they do share this pillar, but when you look at the side, that's what I mean by three blocks out. And they're all gonna go up to the same height as this first wall is at already. Then the next three blocks are gonna be gray concrete, and then we're gonna go switch back to spruce until we hit this little column that's up by one block because this back part goes up by three. And again, we're gonna bring these all up to the same height here, which would be eight blocks tall. Same thing here, however, with this spruce section, I did make it a window. And the window I did was similar to the ones that I did over here, only it's three blocks by four tall. And I did, again, one in the corner, different colors, like this, and then different colors on the edges. Or you can, of course, use whatever colors you like or just make it all the same color, up to you. Now on the side here, we're gonna bring this wall all the way up and do it again for another block. Then here, I did another glass, glass, uh, window, that's what they're called, glass. Yes, that's exactly what I did. I did another window that was actually, five by four blocks. That is five by four blocks. And again, 
I'm just doing this a little differently than how I did on the original house. But then you had to look like this, <laughs> similar to at least. Then on the next section, we're gonna fill it in six blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, and all of this is gonna go up to the same height, like so. Then right here, the next three blocks, I'm actually gonna get rid of these because they're going to be stone because it's gonna be another door just like the front there. So again, that's gonna be just like that. And then for the next three sections, three blocks here, we're gonna fill it up with spruce all the way to the top here. Wow, this tree is getting in the way. Until you have a wall that looks like that. Now for this deck here, you're gonna, of course, this top part that has the two block tall gray concrete, you're gonna go ahead and fill it with stone blocks. That's where we're gonna have our iron bars on top of like a so to add some extra protection and railing and then here this will actually be three blocks gap in between and then from here we're gonna go ahead and start doing our stairs and again we're gonna have this whole thing be down by half a slab so it again looks more like a deck and you actually have to step up into the house and then from here just bring it all down by half slab and again just bring this down like we did in the front and fill it with iron bars until you have something that looks like this. Now for this last section of the house, don't mind this tree, it's despawning. We're gonna again bring this spruce planks over so it's a total of three blocks out on the side when you face it like a so. And technically it's only going out by two since you've already put that corner in, but you know what I mean. And bring it up to the same height. Then here we're gonna again put gray concrete, two blocks worth all the way up to the same height. On this side here, we're gonna have three blocks worth of gray concrete all the way up to the eight block height. And then we're gonna have a lovely four by five window here, like this. Or however else you wanna put the window in. <laughs> but like that, we have the first section of this three story house completed. Now coming back here to this front portion of the house, this column right here, this corner column right here is gonna go up another eight blocks. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So at this point, it should be 16 blocks tall, I believe. I could be wrong there, but I'm fairly certain it's 16 blocks tall. Then we're gonna put in a little stuck out, a stick out, whatever portion out of wood here. So this is a temporary block, but you can stick it out by one and get rid of it. It's gonna be a 10 by 10 area so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and it should bring you right to the corner then up ten two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and then you're going to want to fill it all in until you have a shape like this now i did put a window in here i went over three blocks here and two blocks up so we had a section right here that was two wide by five tall and i did a little different design where i had Two, oh, this is actually one block off. Here we go. Like this. And it does look a little off-centered compared to everything else, but I did that on purpose. It's up to you if you want to make it centered or different size in general. Now for these two blocks here, and I say two because you can't actually see this corner anymore since there's wood here. These two blocks are again going to go up eight blocks. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Similar to the other co first corner we did until you have something like that. And then from here, you're gonna take it out eight blocks at the very top, including this corner. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on top of it, we're gonna throw some light gray concrete as a little bit of a contrast color. And it is also gonna be on top of this back collar, or column piece there as well, until you have something that looks like this. And then for here, on top of this uh, wall, I guess you could say, we're gonna put gray concrete as well. And it's actually gonna come forward and out one, oh, one block from this wall that we have already going on until it looks like this. And on top of it, we're gonna put gray concrete so that it looks similar to the definition we did up there until it looks like that. And as you can see, I've currently got it in line here, but it's actually gonna stick out one block farther from the side wall like this. Then we're gonna bring our spruce planks. Right here is technically where the spruce is. So technically you don't even need these blocks here because you don't see it. But we're gonna bring our spruce planks up 
And again, do three blocks this side and three blocks this side. And of course, this is gonna continue all the way down this wall, but we'll get to that in a second. So until you have this corner of planks like so. Then on this corner here, we're gonna put gray concrete up four blocks, and that'll hit the ceiling that we've created there. And this entire thing here is gonna be a window. And the window that I did is a little different than the window that we have been doing. It's still the same premise with the two different colored glass panes, but it is slightly different in its size and shape until you have something like that or similar. And now up here you can technically see through the glass, so I went ahead and I brought this gray concrete back just so that you don't actually see through the glass into the house. And then you'll have something like this. And finally up here at the top, we're gonna take this wood here. Actually, oh, that's incorrect. We're gonna fill this in as well, I should say. Because it's easier when it's all filled in. We're gonna take this plank here and bring it all the way down to matching here as well. And now that we've finished filling this in a little bit, we're gonna take this plank here all the way down until we're matching up with the planks below. So we're leaving one block here and it's gonna curve around it like that until you have something that looks like that. Now this gray concrete here, or light gray I should say, is gonna come all the way down and again stick out one block from this back wall followed by the gray concrete and again, we're gonna put a window in here that is pretty much identical to the one I did on the other side. And if you'd like, you can put gray concrete underneath it so that you don't see into the house. And then we're gonna take this wall here and go over four blocks worth. So it's gonna be like that. And it's gonna go up five blocks tall. So three, four, and five. Basically until this portion blocks it off like that. And again, you can bring the light gray concrete down following it as well until you have something like that. Then I'm gonna do another window here. And it's a similar two by five one. So let's just bring this pillar up by five, fill this in like this until we have that. Then again, you wanna make sure you cover these windows here so that you don't actually get light seeping through it and then bring this down. Now I know, well first let me finish this. So we have this one block here, one block blocking this window. We're gonna do one more that goes up by five until it's like that. So I know this bottom portion is sticking out by one block, but this top one will not. So it'll actually turn here and stay on the straightaway, just like that versus the top one, and the bottom one is still sticking out by one block. Now taking this light gray concrete, we're gonna drag it all the way down to the other end here. Oh my goodness, this tree, it's beautiful, it's big. I love how big I made it grow, but my God, it is in the way of progress. Here we go. It's gonna come all the way down to here, but it's not gonna stick out by one block on this side, so it's gonna stay even with this wall, essentially. And again, you're gonna follow the same thing with the gray concrete on top. And then you're gonna to wanna to fill this in so that you block the light coming through those windows, as well as fill it in more, because technically this is gonna be all a wall. You don't really have to, but it's easier for me personally to do it like that. Now for here, there's gonna be two windows on this wall here. We're gonna take this wall three blocks out, so one, two, three. Window is going to be three blocks. Then we're going to do six, one, two, three, four, five, six, then another three block window, and then another three blocks of wall. And again, each of these wall pieces are going to go up until you meet this top part here, which is five blocks until you meet this top part. So technically six total if you include that gray concrete. And then of course we're gonna finish off the top part with our light gray concrete. Oh my goodness, not like that. Lining our gray concrete until it lines up with the wall like that. And actually this top portion here is gonna stick out two blocks farther 
than the actual wall on this side. So it's two blocks stuck out like that. For the windows here, I did a very similar one to that two by five over there, only it's an extra block wider. And you just fill it in with the panes like a so. Until you have something like that. Very simple, I know, very simple. <laughs> Now for this next section of the wall, we're gonna have another piece of wood stick out basically. And it's gonna be, that's just a place where you can get rid of it. It's gonna again be one block away from this column, go over by 10 until it's like that. So you have two blocks left over here and this is actually gonna be gray concrete here. And you can fill this part in if you'd like with gray concrete or light gray, up to you. I just did it so that, obviously this one as well, so that the windows don't have light and it's gonna go up by seven blocks and you just wanna fill it in until you have something like that. And again, I did another three block in window as a two by five and it is smaller in height compared to the front, which is why it looks a little bit smaller on the sides. Then for this top gray concrete, you're gonna bring it around lining the exterior of this lovely spruce plank same thing with the light gray on top until it lines up directly like that in the now coming back up to these planks here we're going to go ahead and bring just one block tall planks all the way down until it hits this corner here and on the corners we're going to put gray concrete because this back is going to be a little different same thing on this side we're actually going to have and we're going to bring these planks all the way back to these corners here then on top of this gray, the light gray concrete, we're gonna put three blocks of gray concrete and bring them all up nine blocks tall until you have something that looks like this. Then for this middle portion, we're gonna bring it out by one plank, so one block out with the spruce planks. It's gonna fill this whole area, which is 12 blocks long, and again, bring it all the way up nine blocks tall and fill it in and say something like that. Now I did go ahead and put in some glass, but that's up to you because I just wanted extra light up there on the rooftop deck. Now starting on this corner, we're gonna bring it out one gray concrete block like a so, and follow it all the way down the front until we have it like this. Now right here, we're gonna have this go up by one block, and then right here, we're gonna have it go up by one block. And then we're gonna have our sea lan these are not sea lanterns, <laughs> end rods as our railing because they looked fancier to me and more modern than the freaking iron rails that are, iron rails, iron bars that are downstairs. And they provide lighting, so I figured why not? <laughs> Look at all these extra end rods going in completely different directions. There we go. Until you have a look like that. And then for this wall here, I did put a block here as well. And of course it's gonna meet up in height, so nine blocks tall with this back wall, like this. And so these come all the way up and over. And then this whole wall gets filled in as well. And finally, the roof to this roof is gonna be two blocks thick, like this, but it's gonna come all the way out Again, until our corner all the way over here. And one more, like. And yes, it is one block behind from this railing, but that's totally fine. You can change that if you wanted to, but I liked keeping it in line with the rest of the walls down below. And again, it's gonna connect up to this side as well, like that. And you're gonna wanna fill it in. Now over here on the original one, I did fill it in on the top. Like I said, I added glass in here and I made these walls double thick, although technically this isn't necessary. You could get rid of it. There's a lot of extra space that could be had, but I liked having it a little thicker just so that it looked, you know, more uniform. And the block I used, I used the same planks down one block so it connects up with where these planks are for the roof uh, ceiling or flooring or whatever you want to call it. And then as for the interior, I did not do any work to it, but I did want to show that it's quite a lot of space. You could easily put like a staircase right here where there's no windows. And then you could easily take every area you see light gray concrete as your divider to the next floor. Cause right here it'd be one. And then here is technically straight to the roof. So you could either put a floor or a different color ceiling here and then the floor for the roof up there. And again, you could do, honestly, the only thing that's a problem is this one window, but you could just shorten that 
and make this a different color roof and then put blanks here for the floor on the second on the second floor 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 lots of floors but that's gonna have to do it for today's episode i hope you guys did enjoy it i hope the tutorial made sense <laughs> And I hope you do like it. I definitely had a lot of fun building it. It's, again, more modern that I'm not really that used to, but I'm, I'm really liking modern recently. So if you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like, comment if you have anything you like to comment, and subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next one. Until then, bye guys!